Riding dirt bikes is a lot more physical than I expected. I've even tracked my heart rate in the past while riding street bikes on the road, and my heart barely noticed. Yet, I can easily reach all my Apple Watch exercise goals during a day of dirt biking, which usually require an hour or more of cycling to achieve. And when mixing that with the hot summer sun, it's very easy to get dehydrated. So I bought this Fly Racing Hydration Pack that also has enough pockets allowing me to carry my wallet, phone and tools with me on trail rides. Well actually, the main reason I bought it was so that I could ride for longer without having to go back to the car for a drink. But the previous reasons sound more grown up, so I'll stick with that. I do love having something to drink when you're out on the ride, especially in summer. And you never have to go back to the car, so you could be out here all day, except when you need a Red Bull. And before you ask, no, I haven't tried it yet, but I am tempted and the time will come, despite fizzy drinks sounding like a bad idea. This specific pack can be clipped to your chest protector so that it bounces around less. But I've just been wearing it as a regular backpack and it hasn't bothered me at all. I don't usually need 2 liters of water, so I don't fill it right up. But one thing to remember about hydration packs is that they come with their own consequences. This is not as well designed as a camelback and is fiddly to set up. But for the price, it is perfect, ticks all the boxes I bought it for and even keeps your back cool for a few hours after chilling in the fridge the night before. That funny looking tool you saw me take out of my pack was the Tusk Y-Box wrench and has an 8, 10 and 12 mm socket on it. It doesn't sound like much, but you'd be amazed by how much work can be done on a dirt bike simply with those three sockets. Because after all, they're designed to be simple machines to work on. And if your bike is fussy, there's an option with 12, 13 and 14 mm sockets instead. It's cheap and the perfect size to take along on a ride and can come in handy to adjust levers after a crash or tighten loose bolts in a pinch. And speaking of bolts, when you buy a second-hand bike, it will inevitably have a few stripped or nearly stripped bolts. And nearly stripped bolts are the best because it means you have one last chance to replace them before they make your life hell. And a bolt kit like this makes that super easy. You buy one for your specific manufacturer and it comes with replacement bolts for most of the stuff that frequently gets stripped, like plastics and fork covers for example. The shiny bolts also make a bike look newer and well taken care of and is a great thing to keep around for when you need a replacement bolt in a hurry the day before a ride. These are close to the cheapest accessories you can find in a bike shop, which makes them hard not to try out for a bit of fun. They're called grip donuts and I like them because even I can install them in 10 seconds flat. And besides looking intriguing and providing an unhealthy Krispy Kreme style snack when you get hungry out on a ride, they're designed to prevent your thumb rubbing on the grip and causing blisters. So they don't taste very good, but they're surprisingly comfortable while you're riding. I didn't realize how harsh a grip could be against your thumb until I had these to squash up against. So my thumbs give them a thumbs up. Next is a generic seat grab handle that's meant to bolt to your seat bolts and provide another point of contact to move the rear of your bike around. An invaluable addition when you're learning. I ended up attaching it to the rear fender bolt 
because there would have been way too much slack had I used the seat bolts. But that's just a trade-off for getting a generic strap rather than one for your specific bike. This did make the seat much more difficult to put back on and only slightly more difficult once I had it the right way around. And I know what you're thinking, a motocross bike should not have a seat grab strap. And you're probably right. It does look a bit foolish if I'm honest. It is still a bit long and is further forward than I had planned, resulting in me getting a surprise every time it touches my bum. But it did come in handy the very next ride, when I needed to manhandle the rear end out of some mud. Oh my god! Oh, it was supposed to be dry today, but at least my little grab handle came in handy. And I didn't get it as muddy as that one over there. Yeah, the grab handle looks ridiculous, but it just, it just came in handy. But anyway, there you have it. Five dirt bike products that might just come in handy one day. Let me know what products you found handy down in the comments and I'll see you on the next ride.